Hello, it's me, Nicole. Nicole is our LOL, specifically. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Nicole is our LOL, aka me, Nicole. Um. <sighs> Hi, it's me, Nicole, aka Nicole is our LOL. Um, today, today's video. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Nicole does art lol, aka me, Nicole. Um, why is this, it just adjusts, the lighting adjusts very, very oddly. It's fine. No. Uh, um, so, hi. Um, I just wanna, so I'm in a drawing class right now, drawing one specifically, um, and I never really worked so much with charcoal before until now. I've done little practices here and there, um, but I've never actually worked with charcoal, um, consistently, and only charcoal. I've done, like, mixed media, like I, this, there's like a piece up here, this thingy right there, it's like charcoal mixed with charcoal pencils, not even normal charcoal, like, compressed charcoal just charcoal pencils mixed with a collage but I don't it, it wasn't consistent it was just one project for my design class last semester so I'm in drawing one class and we're using charcoal very consistently so it I just want to show I just want to show what I have so far and I'm also going to mix this so I'm giving you like a summary for a video sorry spoiler alerts but I want to also I have an assignment that I have to do about negative space i'll explain it later and you'll see it that it's going to be like the second half of this video just me doing that charcoal piece hi feature editor nicole here i'm actually going to make it into a separate uncut video so yeah i'm going to show you what i've done so far in the class but not my tiny sketchbook because we have like a tiny sketchbook um i actually showed that in my last video so if you haven't seen it go go watch it <laughs> sketchbook tour yeah whatever um so yeah if so this is like my huge sketchbook my 18 by 24 newsprint and one of them is on just normal drawing paper so I'm gonna show you guys right now once again I have to get my portfolio bag and this thing is like this is like the worst thing ever to carry around with me it always smacks the ground um, but that's okay. That was a lot cleaner than last time I took out I took out an 18 by 24 sketchbook. So I gotta be careful because this newsprint is literally like the worst thing ever. It's like nice to draw on, but to flip the page, it's literally like the pages are all about a rip. This front part's about a rip. It's I hate it, but it's okay. Okay, so the first thing I have is... Look at this! Look at this! It's literally... Uh... So the first thing I have is fear number one. That is about to break. I'm gonna cry. Sphere number one, right here. Um, First, actually second day of class, first day of class, which is like a general introduction to the course. Sphere number one. I know you hear that. I know you hear that. Then we have, this actually did break off today. Sphere number two. I know. Incredible sphere. Actually, it could be better. Um, I was just very nerve-wracked. This was my first time ever working, standing up on an 18 by 24, so... Um, I can't tell if this was the one I liked more or if the other one was the one I liked more. Um, feature Nicole editing this video. Which one was the one you liked more? One or two? Put your answer right there. One or two? Thank you. Now you guys know which one's my favorite one. Um, yeah. Then we have this that I showed last video. Um, this was my still life homework assignment. We have a blow dryer. Uh, I have to present this in my class. We have a blow dryer just because I like my hair. 
a lot. Um, we have a camera because I like taking photos and I see things from like an art artistic point of view, but like that's just BS. Well, no, I do. I do see everything from an artistic point of view. I'm an artist, I swear. But like the the, the phrase I made up was was not it. I have a kazoo as well because I like making music. I have guitars. I have penny whistles. I have a ukulele right here. Um, uh, I have a kazoo, I have a harmonica, I have a kalimba back at home, I have a reed back at home. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Oh yeah, I also have this like grayscale that I had to do. Um, basic grayscale, nothing nothing too fancy. So, I the demonstration just flew past my brain and I didn't realize that we're not supposed to be doing like accurate still lives we're just doing the outline of the still life negative space still life which is the project i'm going to be working on later um you just fill out the black space around it and you just leave like the actual shape of the objects like a silhouette but white so i didn't realize that my teacher still loved it and we only had 20 minutes so i was i actually did i didn't get to do the the this bottle right here but i actually did a, a still life um, I think it turned out pretty damn good though. I'm not even going to lie to you. I actually like it a lot. Um, yep, yep, I like it. So funny story actually. Um, even though I just said I didn't understand what we were doing, so I still didn't know what we were doing. Um, by the second one, so I still made the second one accurate. Um, I actually did get to finish this one, except for the highlights. I don't have a white car charcoal pencil though yet. Um, so yeah, by the second one, I still didn't know what I was doing. So he still loved it, but this time he was like, I just didn't know what he meant when he was like, you gotta like do it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what is he talking about? What is he talking about? And then he did a demonstration after, like he explained the homework. And the homework is what we do in class. So I was like, oh my God, that's what he was talking about. So I still did a, I still did an accurate one. Um, can I focus correctly in the lighting? Yeah. I still did it, but it's fine because um, it looks good and I practiced. So I actually did rush the proper way of doing things just so I can submit something online to get that grade. You see, this, this is what we were supposed to be doing. This is what we were supposed to be doing the entire class. And I did not understand that. So, good job for figuring it out, Nicole. You're a genius. And I did the second one, just because we always need to have two in class. And I clearly did not have two. So I did a second one. Uh, it was, it was the first thing I did but from a different angle. It was like that first still life I did. Yeah, it was that still life, but from a different angle and the proper way, which is with the negative space. I'll give you an update of my newsprint paper breaks. So at this point of the video, I still had it in my brain that I was gonna do my homework and it was gonna be the second half of the video, but now I want it to be an uncut, untouched version on my channel. Um, here I'm going to be just choosing which object I'm going to use for the negative still life and also enjoy me getting distracted by the microphone. It's literally, can you hear that? Uh. I wonder how that sounds. I guess I'll find out. Um, yeah, so I'm stuck between two things that I want to outline. So I'm stuck between just give me a sec. I'm stuck between my beautiful golden pothos plant, Olivia. I love her. She's great. She's, oh, she's a bee. I'm stuck between this. The outline will be very interesting because I have to do all this and then I have to do the leaves. And then I have to actually, the little gaps that you see where you can see my, actually, you can't really see my hand in the back. But little gaps, like for example, this right here. Where is it? Where's the gap? I'm trying to like 
like this right here, I have to actually color it in black as well. So any gaps, I still have to color in dark. Um, but the outline will be very interesting to do. So I'm stuck between this and my Lego flowers. So obviously the, the plant would be nice just because it's got a nice shape. And this, but this will be interesting because I don't know. I just feel like it'd be interesting. Like, there's so many. There's actual. Can this focus correctly? I don't. Know. Yeah. I think it'd be interesting because there's like you know these little mini gaps in here. There's the gaps back here. You see where you can see my thumb right there. Um, that I would have to color in. Um, these sharp ends would be cool. There's like a this vase round vase part back there. I feel like it'd be interesting. Um, so I don't really know which one I'm gonna choose. I might flip a coin actually. Let's flip a coin First I gotta find a coin Okay, so I have a quarter here Heads is right here tails is right here Olivia's heads Lego flowers or tails. So we're gonna flip What is that tails that is tails Lego flowers it is I guess sorry Olivia you gotta go I kind of feel bad though because I have a second plant named Carl. Um, I didn't consider doing Carl at all. Carl would have been interesting, but Carl could be my next art piece. After you, Olivia, of course. I'm gonna show you Carl because I just, because I can. This is Carl. Carl is so freaking cute. I feel like Carl would definitely be for like a normal still life just because I really, this face is gorgeous, the legs so damn cute i need to paint this down part right here carl's an aloe vera plant um yep carl's an aloe vera plant i'm kind of he's a little beat up and bruised right now i don't really know what this means um he is growing though the middle part is significantly longer than when i first got him um he's kind of i need to put a little more soil in here uh, I think he's thriving. He hasn't died yet. And if I killed an aloe vera plant, then that just means I suck at taking care of plants, which I already know. But that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to work on that right now. So, Carl, if I'm overwatering you, just let me know. Just turn yellow. Is that what that means? Am I overwatering him? If somebody watching this miraculously knows about plants, please let me know. Okay, bye Carl. Now that that's been decided, or like that's just out of the way, I guess, I don't know. Um, we're gonna cut to future Nicole that is currently working on her negative space still life Lego flower 18 by 24 terribly messy chalk homework assignment drawing thing. Um, yeah, cut, cut to future, in the future. We're in the future. Wait, do I do transition? Wah! That's gonna be a sick transition. Again. Wow, sick transition to the future, Nicole. I mean, she was right, it is the future. Um, yeah, so as I said earlier, I was kind of rushing because I didn't really want to mess up the rest of my editing and like the just the timing of like the texts and stuff like that. So I just made like the, the snippets really short, but I am going to be doing my homework assignment probably tomorrow editing it tomorrow or no I'm not editing it I'm just gonna do it tomorrow and post it tomorrow um yeah I'm just it's just gonna be like I'm not gonna touch it at all I'm just gonna add the intro the outro and then everything in between doesn't matter how long it is it's gonna be posted it's gonna be put in a playlist that I'm planning on doing in the future just a bunch of art pieces I do like if I have to do another still life homework like a still life homework and it takes me two hours those two hours are going to be posted Unless I go to the bathroom or something, I'm not, I'm just gonna, the same for the next video. Like, if I go, if I go pee or if I go make myself a sandwich and I'm gonna take a break and eat the sandwich, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit that part out. But every single part that's just drawn is going to be uncut, raw, untouched. You're going to see my process and the way I think, I will think out loud if need be. Um, yeah, so subscribe um thank you so much for watching um better outro than last time to be fair uh what did i say last time subscribe to me now 
Thank you. Bye.